welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending March 2nd, 2018. A new anime is coming. Very exciting. Um, uh, let's see here. It's called... Um, Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life? Yeah, that's the title. Is being adapted into an anime of some sort. It focuses on a 10-year-old girl who discovers she's the reincarnation of a 16-year-old who abruptly died and, upon meeting God, asked for completely average abilities in her next life. As you might success or suspect, apparently that wish did not go exactly as planned. Meanwhile, the prolific anime scriptwriter Amari Okada, who made her name in shows like, uh, let's see here, um, Anohana and Toradora and Black Butler, has made her directorial debut. Her latest film just debuted in Japan, and its name is, uh, okay, let me take a breath. Sayonara no Asa ni Yaksoku no Hana o Kazaro, or Let Us Adorn the Morning of Farewells with Promised Flowers. Yeah. Apparently it's a fantasy set in a land where the inhabitants stop aging in their mid-teens and suddenly face a war. The film opened at number five in the box office, earning about $450,000 US. You go, Mari. Well done. Um, and you go Netflix! The streaming service has added two award-winning anime to its lineup. Um, let's see here. Uh, sorry. Uh, in This Corner of the World and A Silent Voice are now available in the U.S. Uh, Silent Voice, which earned 2.3 billion yen in Japan, is available either subbed or dubbed, while I believe In This Corner of the World, which won tons of awards, is sub only. Uh, moving on to a news story that, frankly, saddens me, um, but I don't want to have to report on this, but frankly, I think I just, I just do. Um, sorry, one second. Um, doo -doo -doo. Like I said, this is a bit of an unusual shift for me. Um, Nobuhiro Watsuki, creator of legendary Samurai Shonen series Ruroni Kenshin, has been fined about $2,000 US equivalent, you know, in yen, for simple possession of child pornography. Simple possession is uh, possibly the lightest charge available for this. It means he wasn't distribute it, or distributing it, and according to Japanese law, can be punished with up to a year in jail or up to about $8,000 US or both. So a relatively minimal fine for Watsuki, and here's hoping he learned his lesson. Uh, moving on to slightly less disturb disturbing news. Uh, Merchen Madchen, um, unfortunately, the next episode has been delayed by two whole weeks, so a bit disappointing to fans. The official website says this is to improve the animation quality on that episode, number nine in this series, and the first two episodes will be rebroadcast in its place. Here's hoping that that doesn't lead to fewer episodes overall, when you ever get a delay like that. Um, moving on, and finally, a bit of manga news. According to Japanese TV station NHK World, sales of digital manga volumes outstripped sales of physical manga volumes for the first time in 2017. Manga trade paperbacks brought in about $1.5 billion US last year, while digital volumes brought in about $1.6 billion. However, researchers note it was an unusual year. Several best-selling series ended without big series replacing them, and digital manga outlets were heavily promoted and discounted last year. This comes amid an overall 1% drop in manga sales compared to 2016. So, digital manga sales doing a little bit better than physical manga sales, but again, things are a little bit weird. So, that is all the news fit to print this week. Apologies for kind of the weird moving around, but we're getting things changing around a little bit here with the news. Hope this was useful to you, and hope I will see you next week.